Good morning. My name is Michael Hecht. I am the dementia care specialist on the campus of Scotland and Retirement Services, and we're filming this in our memory care facility. And I have three elders here who are going to present, we hope, an entertaining short tribute to Halloween. Halloween's next week, so we thought we would do a program celebrating that. This is Judy Wilson, Carol Armstrong, Gordon Priegel. So I think we'll start with the ladies first, and that means Judy Wilson. What does a witch order in a hotel? What does a witch order in a hotel, Judy? Broom service. All right. What time is it if you see a monster? What time is it if you see a monster? Carol, do you know that answer? The time to run and hide. You got it, <laughs> right, Judy? Is it really? Yeah, it's time to run, right, Judy? Yeah. All right, you want to give us another one? Why don't skeletons play church music? Why don't skeletons play church music? You want to tell us, Judy? They don't have any organs. There you go. Which room in the house is never haunted? Anybody know that? You want to tell us, Judy? The living room. The living room. What kind of a ghoul do you find at the coast? That's a tough one. A seagull. A seagull. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. What, what kind of a street does a ghost like best? You want to tell us the answer? A dead end street. A dead end. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do some poetry by Denise Rogers. You want to read that? Give us the title and then read it. Okay, pile of leaves. I saw a big pile of leaves piled up high, higher than my knees. All crinkly red and golden brown. It doesn't hear, it does makes a sound. I ran into it with a sled. Surprise, I found my dog inside. Great. How about the next one? Give us the title and then read it, honey. Autumn leaves. Autumn trees. <coughs> trees, excuse me. That's okay. <laughs> they have leaves, though. They do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the trees are pretty, are kind of pretty in their autumn gold and brown. Leaves are bright orange, reddish, but all will soon fall down. When they dry and crackle, as we crunch them with our shoes, I guess it's time for autumn now, as summer takes a snooze. Great. And your last poem? Okay, autumn plums. My grandpa said, when plums are ripe, you'll know it's turning fall. Plums are not a summer fruit. Their sweetest comes in fall. I think of grandpa every year when plums are turning ripe. I wish he that he could be with me, I'd tell him he was right. I like that poem. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Hey. What is a, my, an empire's favorite fruit? A nectarine. Oh. <laughs> Why don't monsters eat clowns? They taste funny. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll do some poems. You want this? Yeah. Farmer's market, the farmer's market's stocked with food, especially come fall. There's bright red juicy apples, pumpkins, gourds in every stall. Some farmers sell organic cheese, some honey, eggs, and meat. We pack our carts with goodies fresh and then go home to eat. A vampire. Vampires have pale white skin. They just come out at night. Give one half a chance and he will give your neck a bite. <laughs> a witch, a witch flies past on her broomstick over the roof of your home. It would be better not to upset her. She'll turn you into a mouse. A skeleton, 
Skeletons walk about the town. They have no skin, just bone. Sometimes for fun, they play their ribs just like a saxophone. Well, we hope it was short and sweet. And uh, before we sign off, uh, this will conclude our programs for 2024. And we want to thank the support of WSTO and their staff. And on behalf of the elders residing in Magnolia Gardens on the campus of Scotland Retirement Services, we want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and a very Merry Christmas. Thank you.